Hi guys. Hi, happy Friday. So the Wi-Fi just came back on. Let's hope it stays on. It's pouring rain here and so I think that is why that it uh, went out. The water is standing down at the bottom of our road. I had um, to take our little dog Lacey to her vet appointment this morning and when I came back I it wasn't so high that I couldn't drive through it but it was it was pretty high so anyway <clears throat> then after just right before I got ready to come on live at two o'clock there was no Wi-Fi and I didn't want to use data to do a live so anyway um, I think I've got things ready to go now so let's just hope that the Wi-Fi stays on I'll do my best and if it goes out nothing I can do about it all right let's try this Okay, here is my host code for October PKPVW9JM. So if you order on my website, you'll find this code on the landing page there. And you can just copy and paste it if you know how to do that. Otherwise, go ahead and write this down. And any order under $150, you would want to um, use that code. And if you uh, order $150 or over, you would be your own hostess and earn uh, hostess gifts for that. So you wouldn't want to put this code in because this is for like my monthly party thing. And I draw um, from the orders that people place, I draw a name to send out a little prize okay <clears throat> so today I am making a card using the harvest hello set isn't this cute you can do pumpkins or apples and it's got really cute little sayings and you can bundle that with this um, forget what this is apple builder the apple builder punch but it also cuts out the pumpkin, the leaf, and the um, stem. But it only cuts out this leaf. So for the pumpkin, we need that leaf. So I'm using those. And then I'm also going to be using the um, rectangle stitched dies. So I will set that aside over there. And I'm also going to be using the um, Gather Together paper, or Come Together, Come Together paper, dog hair. <laughs> and then just as a side note, did you know that on the back of these packages that it gives you the colors that are used in the papers? So in this set, um, they've used Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. And that just makes it easier to um, coordinate um, if you're wanting to use your cardstock with your patterned papers. And I just wanted to show you the papers in this set real quick because um, they're so pretty. And I love the different colors. So I love white pumpkins. They're just very country looking to me. Um, and now I've been seeing people post that there's blue pumpkins. And they're doing a lot with like blue pumpkin stuff. And I thought that would be kind of fun. So I wanted to use this um, paper. So this is one of the sheets. And that's the back. That gingham. So pretty. And then this stripe here. That's got kind of a light um, 
texture pattern in the back. And then that is the back side of that. And then that fun pattern. And the back has feathers. More pumpkins. I love the espresso with the teal, with the peacock there. That's really pretty. And that's the back. It really gets into some fall colors now. So pumpkins in the pumpkin patch there. And you've got the wood grain on the back of that. I love that. And then this is like a burlap with little polka dots. And on the back has uh, leaves. So pretty. And you get two sheets of each design. So that's the paper I'm going to use. And I'm, I'm hoping that this card's going to turn out okay because I while I've made the design of the card I haven't made one using these colors and things that I'm gonna use I put it together but I'm not quite sure how it's gonna look in the end so I guess we will see so I cut a piece of um, card for the base uh, out of what is this I've lost my mind. Um, crumb cake. Thank you. Crumb cake. And then I've got some scrap of crumb cake and then papers from that pack along with pretty peacock. And then this was um, the mint macaron. So that's what we're going to do. I think first I will kind of put the base of this card together. Let's do that first. I've got plain white to go on the inside here. So I will just start there. Uh-oh. Run out of in adhesive. <clears throat> I know things are moving. I'm just getting a refill here. So now you guys get to see me refill my tape gun. I'm not sure why they call it tape because it's not really tape in my opinion. It is, um, it's like a glue, I think. So I'm just going to do this real quick. I know a lot of people have a hard time putting the refill on, but and probably today I will since I'm saying this, but it's actually pretty simple. And I really love this thing. Okay. So it goes on with the um, roll coming up from the bottom and you just, oops, put it on the right thing. There's little pegs that stick up there and then when that pops in place you know you've got it. And then it goes up over that roller and under this one. And then you just push the trigger here and pull it up so that you have enough to bring around and tuck into these slots. And then you push the trigger again and just roll it up a bit here and put this back on. Like that. And I think we're set. Let me give it a try. Sometimes it's a little bit loosey goosey, but that will fix itself. We're back in business. 
and I hope that I'm still live. It says that I am, but I'm not seeing anybody on there. I am seeing myself, so I think I'm okay. So if anybody's out there and watching, pop me a message, or leave me a comment, I mean, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, I'm just checking here to see. Still seeing myself, so I'm thinking that we're good. Okay, somebody popped on. So yeah, if you're seeing me, if you could just leave a comment, even if it's just saying hi. Since I lost my Wi-Fi earlier, I want to make sure that you are seeing me okay. All right, so I'm going to use the gingham side of this one. Don't you just hate having to pick one or the other of when you love both sides of the patterned paper? Because if you're like me at all and you tend to hoard paper that you love, <laughs> I've decided that I can't do that. I just have to go ahead and use it. Because you'll always find another paper that you love just like that one. Okay, so there's that layer. And then this time I am going to use the pumpkin side. Hi, Rebecca. Glad to see somebody on here because I wasn't sure if it was actually working. Hopefully it is. And I love how this just worked out that it fits right in there with that cute little border all the way around like that. Okay, so there's that. And then I am going to, I love this one. So I'm going to cut that out using one of the dies from the rectangle stitch dies. And it's the biggest one on this side here. Okay, so I'm just going to run that through my machine real quick. My plates are so warped that um, it really pops when it goes through there. But I saw someone post um, that you can run the plates through your dishwasher and it will put them back to flat. So I am going to give that a try. I've also seen where you can put them in your oven but running them through the dishwasher seems a little safer to me, so I'm going to try that and see how that works. Okay. So this is going to go over here about like that and I'm going to go ahead and attach that. So can are you seeing me Rebecca? 
I figured that about the time I popped on here, the Wi-Fi would probably go back out again. I hope not. It, to me, it's saying that I'm live still, so I hope that I am. And if I'm not, I'm just sitting here talking to myself, which that's nothing new. Okay, there we go with that. Now, I think I will do some um, colors today. There's the pumpkin. And I'm going to stamp with Pretty Peacock. I think I might have said that already, but that's okay. All right. So there's one. Now, do I want the lines going up and down? I think I do. There we go. And then one on the mint macaron. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I'm still on here or not. Looks like I am. Hopefully. Now, these are easy because there's a punch to punch them out. Man, it is pouring out there. I really, really hope that this is not going to be a winter where it does this all winter long. There's one, and then it punched out that leaf and the stem, which I don't need in those colors, but that's okay. And this will do the same. It's going to punch those out. I think it's kind of fun to do things in non-traditional colors sometimes. I'm hoping that it's going to have a real kind of country fun feel to it here. There we go. And now then... I went ahead and stamped one of the leaves because I wanted to make sure that using the Pretty Peacock um, ink on the paper that it was going to show up good enough, and it does. So I'll go ahead and stamp a couple more of those leaves because I want one for each pumpkin. There we go. And then uh, the stem, I need three stems. Okay, 
what else? While I'm at it and I have the ink open, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the little vine onto the pumpkins. Cute! Love it! There we go. Is there anything else I need to stamp while I have this out? Yes. Let's see. I'm going to stamp Hey There Pumpkin. Hey there, pumpkin. Okay. Maybe, well, it's pretty square. I guess that's fine. I think we're done with the stamping part. Now I just need to punch out those stems. And I'll leave it long enough over here so I have a bit of a handle to hang on to. I guess I did it the wrong direction. There's one. Okay, I'm going to have to make myself a handle here. Just going to put a little bit of glue on there. I don't need too much. And then I can have something to hold on to when I put this in there. doing wrong. I just got the wrong I probably could have just fussy cut these out and had them done by now. Come on, Jana. Now it's going to cut off my handle. Oh, 
I'm going to get this. Really am. I have faith that I can do it. There we go. Did it. Okay. Now I just need to cut these leaves out real quick. They're so cute. Ooh, maybe I'll put a little wink of Stella on them. Give them some sparkle. It's one of those kind of movies you just want to have your blankie and watch videos or movies all day. I hope the bottom of our street isn't totally flooding. The water, the rain just runs downhill and there's uh, the leaves and pine needles clog up the drains and that's what makes the water start pooling up down there. So hopefully someone's taking care of that issue also. I'm glad that our Wi-Fi and stuff wasn't out for very long because our cable and our phone and our Wi-Fi are all on spectrum. And so usually if one thing goes out, they all go out. And that was the case earlier. We're supposed to have really big waves also this I don't know if it was like the whole weekend but they were saying the waves were going to be like three times the size that they normally are so I say it's best to just look at the ocean from a distance and not be down on the beach when we've got that going on. Okay, there's that. Now I think I can bring my card base back in and we can start putting this all together. Okay, so get all my parts and pieces here and my three little stems and I can put those on and I like the stem coming from the back side and for the pumpkin you want the widest part down towards the pumpkin whereas if you were making the apple it would be just the opposite you would have the skinny end down at the apple and the wide part at the top we'll make his kind of go wonky that way Now the leaves. Let's 
so cute. I'll just cut that a little bit off before I even glue it. Love it. I love the funny color of pumpkins. I think it's very cute. Okay, we'll put this guy's leaf over here on this side. Now I just have to decide in which order I want to put them on the card. We'll look at a couple of different ways and see. I think I'm going to go with like that. Okay, so that one is going to get glued straight down. And then this one is going to get some dimensionals to make it pop up just a little bit, but glue down at the bottom. And same with this one. So cute. All right, now we're going to do some banner stuff over here. Let's see. I'm going to make that right about there, but first I'm going to do this part. And then I think I want it, I'll just snip it off right about there. So there we go. Go ahead and put that down. And then this one is going on top, and it's going to be a little bit shorter. I'm just going to cut it right across that line. And then I'm going to flag the end. Maybe I'll have the... kind of like that pretty peacock one being on the outside edge there.
There we go. Whoopsie. Okay. We'll put this one right in the middle of the other one. And now for a strip of the wood grain. I love this. I love these um, little parts right here. So I think I will cut it off there. And then right about here. I'll flag that. There we go. Just seeing if I have it as short as I want it there. Yeah, I like that. I think it's coming together pretty good. I wasn't sure about the colors, but I'm liking it. Something different. Cute. Okay, now I can go ahead and make my little greeting here. I'm just going to flag these ends a little bit. Trying to get right there at that tip. Come on now. Okay, I think we're good. Now I need a little dauber here so I can, I want to put just a little bit of color on the edges, the end edge, edges of that. Not a lot, just a little bit. Little bit. Little, little. Okay, I think that's good. But I have here the um, 
This is 100% hemp, it says, and it is the braided linen trim. Excuse me. I'm just going to make a little bow. This goes perfect with these papers and colors. Okay. Now for the fun part. love this because you can pull it all apart because it's that braided braided stuff And in the, well, it's in both catalogs, I believe, but in the holiday catalog, you'll find it there, too, is the copper trim that is like this. And it really pulls apart. And I'll show you another bow I made with that one in just a few minutes. Okay, now we can do it on these pieces. You can get really crazy with it and totally like unfray it and stuff. I don't want to get that nuts with it, but there we go. Now I just am going to attach that with a glue dot or two. I usually like to put a couple just to make sure they're going to stick on there because I don't want it coming undone. right there fun fun and now Hey there, pumpkin. There we go. Now let me bring in Wink Estella because I kind of wanted to sparkle up those leaves. I don't know if you can hear the rain on the roof. It's pretty loud, and I can only imagine our little backyard back there it looks like a swimming pool right about now. Pretty. Okay, I think it needs a little bit of bling. use the Noble Peacock rhinestones. I'm 
just trying to figure out where I want to put them. There we go. Okay, so there is that very non-traditional fall card color-wise, but fun. I think this would be a really cute birthday card for this time of year. So there's that one. This is the one I did um, here. Let me hold it up a little bit closer. Here is the one that I did for Halloween. And there's that copper braided ribbon. And you can see how I pulled that apart as well. So it's the same card in two very different versions. And then I made a couple of Halloween cards yesterday that I wanted to share with you. This is, these are all products from the Halloween um, selection in the holiday catalog. So the papers and the stamps and the googly eyes. Very cute. And then inside, wishing you a delightfully haunted night. So that was the little zombie guy. And then I made one using the little monster. Look at how cute he is. And I put the green eyes on him. Boo to you. Have a spectacular Halloween. Cute. And then I gave you a sneak peek of um, these as I was making them the last time I signed up and was doing ATCs for a swap. And so this is the end result. And that's using those little monster characters and the werewolf. He's so cute. So I made 14 of those and 13 went off to the swap. Okay, so that's it. I hope that <laughs> that I was live the whole time so that you could see this. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're catching this on the replay or on YouTube, um, Please, if you're on YouTube, please hit the um, like and subscribe buttons. I would really appreciate that. And if you're watching the YouTube or the replay live on Facebook, leave me a comment and let me know how you like, if you like the non-traditional color fall pumpkin card. All right, thanks. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your time off if you work, and I will be back next Friday at 2 for another Friday fun day. Have a great weekend, you guys. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.